The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. A very warm welcome to this service of daily prayer from St John's Princes Street. My name is Alan Martin. I am one of the congregation of St John's. We are in Holy Week, the most sacred period of the church year, when we contemplate Christ's passion and death and celebrate his resurrection. But these are not just historical events, as unique and profound as they are. These events also point to a theological truth, that God emptied himself, came to us, born of our sister Mary, the mother of God, and ended up crucified and dead. So that in Christ's resurrection, all the powers, visible and invisible, that seek to harm, hurt or hinder our lives and all life, are overcome and conquered forever. God's light pierces any darkness. God's life cannot be held captive in a tomb forever. God's love is stronger than hate, sin, evil, war, injustice and even death. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, in your tender love for the human race, you sent your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our nature and to suffer death upon the cross, giving us the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may walk in the way of his suffering and also share in his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us worship with words from Psalm 71. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. You are my crag and my stronghold. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the clutches of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence since I was young. I have been sustained by you ever since I was born. From my mother's womb you have been my strength. My praise shall be always of you. I have become important to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me off in my old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. For my enemies are talking against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say, God has forsaken him. Go after him and seize him because there is none who will save. O God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O my God. Let those who set themselves against me be put to shame and be disgraced. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. But I shall always wait in patience, and shall praise you more and more. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. Our first reading comes from Isaiah. Listen to me, O coastlands. Pay attention, you peoples from far away. The Lord called me before I was born. While I was in my mother's womb, he named me. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand he hid me. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver he hid me away. And he said to me, You are my servant, Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have laboured in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity. Yet surely my cause is with the Lord and my reward with my God. Now the Lord says, who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him. For I am honoured in the sight of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He says, 
"'Tis too light a thing that you should be my servant "'to raise up the tribes of Jacob "'and to restore the survivors of Israel. "'I will give you as a light to the nations, "'that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. "'Thus says the Lord, "'the Redeemer of Israel and his Holy One, "'to one deeply despised, "'abhorred by the nations, the slave of rulers. "'Kings shall see and stand up, Princes, and they shall prostrate themselves, because of the Lord, who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel, who has chosen you. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. The second reading is from the Gospel of John. Among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain but if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honour. Now my soul is troubled. And what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it, and said that it was thunder. Others said, An angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, This voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Jesus said to them, the light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of light. After Jesus had said this, he departed and hid from them. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. We glory in your cross, O Lord, and praise and glorify your holy resurrection. For by virtue of your cross, joy has come to the whole world. May God be merciful to us and bless us. Show us the light of his countenance and come to us. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. We glory in your cross, O Lord, and praise and glorify your holy resurrection, for by virtue of your cross, joy has come to the whole world. The prophet Micah writes, He has told you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you but to do justice, and to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. Let us pray. Gracious God, we have not done justice, we have not loved kindness, we have not walked humbly with you. We confess that we are sinners in your sight. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy, most merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. May Almighty God forgive us our sins, rescue us from evil, 
and keep us in everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace we pray to you, Lord God. O God, by the passion of your blessed Son, you made an instrument of shameful death to be for us the means of life. Grant us so to glory in the cross of Christ that we may gladly suffer shame and loss for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made, and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, for the honour of your name. Amen. I now invite you to offer up in a few moments of silence your own prayers and intercessions for the world, the church, each other and for ourselves. Uniting our voices, let us pray with the words our Saviour Jesus Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>